Good morning and welcome to our morning prayers. I think the system's just warming up and should be online now. So this is, uh, I'm Chris Robry, I'm the vicar at St John the Adventist Church here at Hedge End and this is our scheduled morning prayer. Uh, really pleased to welcome you and also uh, here today is um, Karen who I'm married to and she's going to co-host with us uh, today. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much for joining us and uh, we hope that you'll be able to join in with the liturgy which is either the same as you had last week, um, so if you downloaded it last week it's going to be um, the same service but with different readings or else it's uh, on the Facebook page I believe and may well be on the web page as well. So I can just see a few people are starting to log into the system now. So we're just saying welcome. And as you can see, uh, Karen's here this morning as well. So we're just carrying on for a bit. Um, uh, hoping that maybe after the service today, we might be able to just have a um, quick kind of Zoom uh, discussion. Um, normally on the fifth Sunday we would do somebody's story but obviously that's changed and um, so we're going to have a, a little sort of I suppose a little chat aren't we about the about the gospel gospel reading um, and it might be that you would like to join in with that later on on zoom I'll send out to him invites on the everyone at St John's uh, email um, but if you want to just check out zoom um, then you should be able to catch up with us there. So I think we'll probably just make a start now. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to you, O God, that we have risen this day. To the rising of this life itself. Be the purpose of God between us and each purpose. The hand of God between us and each hand. The pain of Christ between us and each pain. The love of Christ between us and each love. O God, who brought us the bright light of this new day. Bring us to the guiding light of eternity. So may we pray. God of life, do not darken your light to us. God of life, do not limit your joy in us. God of life, do not shut your door to us. God of life, do not refuse us your mercy. Lord, do not refuse us your mercy. O God of life, eternity cannot hold you, nor can our little words catch the magnificence of your kindness. Yet in the space of our small hearts and in silence, you can come close and repair us. O God of life, grant us your forgiveness for, for our careless thoughts, for our thoughtless deeds, for our empty speech and the words with which we wounded. O God of life, grant us your forgiveness for our, our false desires, desires for our, our hateful, hateful actions, actions, for our wastefulness, and, and for, for all we left unattended. O loving Christ, hanged on a tree, yet risen in the morning, scatter the sin from our souls as the mist from the hills. Begin what we do, inform what we say, redeem who we are. In you we place our hope, our great hope, our living hope, this day and evermore. Amen. So if you're just joining us, welcome to the live stream for this, the fifth Sunday in Advent, uh, sorry, in Lent even, 
uh, service of morning prayer. The collect for today. God of compassion, you call us out of the bindings of death. On this, our resurrection day, make us ready to surrender the fear which we hide, to step into your future, alive and unashamed, through Jesus Christ, the life of the world. Amen. Amen. So, again, if you're just joining us, uh, it's nice to see you this morning. I'm glad you're able to be with us. Uh, we're doing the live stream for St John's uh, morning prayer. I hope that you've been able to find a liturgy. The readings are um, going to be coming up. Uh, if you need to, to look them up, the first reading will be Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. And the second the gospel reading will be John 11, 1 to 45. Listen for the word which God has spoken. And we all say, Speak, speak Lord, to our speaking. Speak, Lord, to our listening. Speak, Lord, to our soul's deep understanding. So Karen's going to read Ezekiel for us. Ezekiel 37, verses 1 to 14. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and you will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves. O my people, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And so hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, as it is written according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed Jesus with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill. So the sister sent a message to Jesus. Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. Rather, it is for God's glory, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Accordingly, though Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, after having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. And after he had said this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and you were going there again? 
And Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble because they see the light of the world. But those who walk at night stumble because the light is not on them. After saying this, he told them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep and he will be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death and they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake, I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas, who was called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus was already been in the tomb for four days. Now, Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give him whatever you ask, will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. When she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary and told her privately, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews, who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary get up quickly and go out. They followed her because they thought she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, If you had even been here, my brother would not have died. But Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who were with her also weeping, and was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was laying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God. So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upwards and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, O Christ. Christ. So, um, I'm going to sort of enter into a little discussion about this, but... um, just as I was reading it through there, I, I it, what struck me was there were several things that struck me, but, uh, but probably the most prominent was how interesting it is that this reading is is happening now at this point in the story as we move towards towards Easter, and how the people who who who, who are writing it, um, sorry John who was who was writing it, obviously had had experienced the resurrection story. Uh, and of Jesus, and so it was post-resurrection. In fact, a number of years later, when it, when it was written, but how how similar 
that sto- that story is made to to the one that's coming post post crucifixion of Jesus, even to the extent of you know it's, it sounds obvious, doesn't it? Really, that the cave and the stone in front of it that it's rolled and and that the person the stone's rolled away that it's 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 four days, not three days, but the you know and then the, the sort of whole thing about Jesus being the resurrection himself and. Um, you know how how all that's just sort of prefigured in the story for us. It's almost like John is saying, "Aha, this is you know." It's almost like he's he's, he's giving away you know he's giving away the the good story, mm-hmm. um, and I just thought, gosh, you know, it, it's almost like I'm preparing you for, for for what's about about to come, so that you you just won't miss it. <laughs> you, you can't miss it, you know. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a. I I never really kind of thought about that before. I also think that there's something there, isn't there, about um, about the groups of people who are who are there. There's there's the there's the disciples. There are there is the, the you know we, we know twelve disciples. We know there were more disciples than that, really, and the disciples, family, and friends. That there was the crowd that followed Jesus around. That there was uh, a group of people who. Um, sort of appear on the scene, uh, sometimes they're known as the Pharisees, the Sadducees, sometimes just referred to generically as the Jews. Uh, they're, they're there, presumably the women, and then and then you have um, the closer disciples, so the twelve were there, we hear about Thomas, who is later known as Doubting Thomas, and um, we also then have this this friendship that's uh, that's there, and how... Mary and Martha have a kind of easy kind of relationship with Jesus, and how Lazarus is 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 mentioned as being a friend. Yeah, I I think that it's very striking in this passage because of the way that they respond to Jesus, and I think the way that um, you know it's oh Lord, if only you'd been here, and um, in you know I think sometimes we we don't see Jesus humanity and we don't respond to um, him in that way knowing that Jesus reveals God to us and also that God knows what we're going through and it's all right to actually be exasperated in our prayers we don't have to be fancy um, in our prayers we don't have to think oh I don't know the right words to say because we can just say anything because we're invited into that friendship yeah. Um, with Jesus, so it's like, oh Lord, oh Lord, what are you doing? Um, because it's all right to to just be ourselves. It's all right to express any emotion or anything. But also, I, I um, going back to what you were saying at the beginning. I think that um, both of these readings today um, mm. in Ezekiel and and this one um, are situations where. All hope is gone. In Ezekiel, they're dry bones. There's no way yeah. Yeah. that there can be any life ever again. They're, they're dry. They're, there's no flesh. There's nothing. And in this situation, there's in the in the gospel, there's no life. It's it's. It, I mean, when there's a there, there would be a stench. The fear is of going in there, and there's going mm, to be a, mm, a stench. Mm. So there's no hope at all. But as you were saying, I think. Um, we're leading up to Easter, and in that wilderness time where there is no hope and we're very fearful, we've lost all, many things. And I think in the situation that we're in yeah, currently, the coronavirus, the coronavirus yeah. Um, yeah. actually, there's, you know, it's, it's all over the world. We're connected with everybody in this fear, anxiety, people are losing their jobs, people are losing loved ones and yet we still have this resurrection mm. hope i am the resurrection mm. and the life and i think that mm. you know mm. that the hope had all gone completely yeah. ezekiel of course is 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 taking god's message to to israel who who are in total despair and have, have nothing and fear that there's only death and destruction and that that, that 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 there's nothing absolutely nothing there and it's, it's, you know, it's saying, well, there is, here is the hope. This is the hope. I will show you. I will not only tell you 
yeah, there is hope, but I will show you in the most profound and and uh, imaginative way. And I think you know again that that's that's picked up in in the way that when they roll the stone back, there's a stench. It's 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 very visceral, isn't it? It's very it's very it's, it's, you know you can yeah. it's it's an easy one to actually imagine yourself almost standing there with Ooh. with the crowd and, and in, in the, the King, expectation. Yes, and in the King James version, it says. He he stinketh. He stinketh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it, you know, it's like, what what on earth's going on? Yes. How can anything come out of this that is good and hopeful? Yeah. I love that sense as well. That that um, you know that what you were saying about the um, Jesus's relationship with Mary and Martha, and and how how they can be you know how they can be how they can be annoyed with with him but also his his sense of profound sadness mm. so he he went when he encounters people it, there's almost a sense of with the disciples oh well you know it's okay it'll all be all wrong it it'll it'll kind of you know don't we don't have to worry it's going to be yeah. and then when he realizes the sort of profoundness of 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 that I remember yes. I was at, he was deeply disturbed. Deeply disturbed. He was yeah. Deeply disturbed. And moved to know, tears. That, that gut feeling of when we're disturbed by things. And again, yes. I think that brings us back to the, to the God who made us and is the source of our being. That actually, this God also suffers with us yeah. and is in it all with us. Yes, yeah. I, I was at I was at Tessie at one point. There was one of the Bible studies, which I don't think it was to do with this one, but I remember one of the brothers there um, postulating the fact that perhaps God uh, experiences those 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 human emotions uh, because we do. So in all, you know, not not that we sort of, we we have to do those for God, but that as we experience them, God has that very real experience again of of, of what it means to be. You know, it's not an abstract thing that somehow because it's work of our connection through to God, that, that that there's something very real about the experience of knowing. So it's not just God knows sadness or, or joy, of course. There's all, all the positive emotions as well, because um, I think after you know after Lazarus is after well people must have been shocked, but after Lazarus has come out of the out of the grave. There's that lovely bit, wasn't it, John Bell, who talked about, uh, you know, how unbind him, about how when we, we come out of our, our death, however we may conceive that, um, a death to, to, to life, religion, whatever those things might be, how we're bound. And I, I like to think, you know, he, he talks about unbind him because not only has he been brought back from the dead, but he's 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 bound up in his in his yeah. shroud in his 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 uh, grave windings, and that, that when they unbind him, then he's free to 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 go and do things. And I was just thinking, you know, what 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 after they got over the shock and everything else, boy, there must have been something of a party going on yeah, there. I would imagine. Absolutely, yes, yeah. Of joy, yeah, yeah. I I think those those readings are always, you know, they they're, they're great. They they you know they they they're worth thinking on about. So uh, the invitation is, it's not just to leave it there maybe hopefully you know just just to think a little bit more about it yourselves i'm hoping that afterwards we might uh, we might get connected up to zoom and uh, we might be able to have you know a little bit of time together um and certainly you, you might be able to comment on that as well should we leave it there yeah, yeah. thanks thanks karen it's it's uh, it's always good. it makes me wonder maybe why we don't do this you know it's not not live streaming but why maybe we maybe we ought to have a little go at this in church or something it'd be uh, quite quite fun so if you just joined us uh we're doing a live stream for morning uh prayer for saint john the evangelist church here in hedge end and uh if you're visiting from uh, another country or you're looking at this later from another country particularly if it's Trinity Church in Ashland, uh, we send you greetings and uh, welcomes. And we've been watching some of your your stuff as well. There's loads of stuff on at the moment. Um, and there are some links on our page for other things that might be helpful um, in these these days of some isolation. I can see a number of other people have joined us. So welcome if you, you've just logged in to join us. We're, I don't know what page we're on, but we're going to... Excuse me, do the affirmation which comes after the bit that says gospel reading. We believe, O God of all gods, that you are the eternal maker of life. We believe, O God of all gods, that you are the eternal maker of love. 
We believe, O Lord and God of all people, that you are the creator of the high heavens, that you are the creator of the skies above, that you are the creator of the oceans below. We believe, O Lord and God of all people, that you are the one who created our souls and set their course, that you are the one who created our bodies from dust and from ashes, that you gave to our bodies their breath and to our souls their possession. God, bless to us our bodies. God, bless to us our souls. God, bless to us our lives. God, bless to us our belief. So we're going to have a time of prayer now, and uh, some of that's structured. But um, I just invite you, in a moment before perhaps we start uh, the, the liturgy for the prayers, to think about anybody who you know in particular who... It's having a really tough time at the moment. It's um, it's a difficult time for some people. Um, some people won't have the internet, so they won't have the connectivity. But we might just think about people who we know and ask God's blessing on them. We might think about those people in the world who have responsibility for keeping us safe. I don't know about you, but it was marvellous. We went up to the top of the drive the other, the other evening for the clapping and the cheering. And we live at the, if you don't know where we live, we live at the top end of Hedge End. And we could hear down in the village people cheering and clapping as well as we were and the people in Vicarage Drive. So we might give thanks for the emergency services and the NHS and the care and the time and the energy that they are particularly expending at the moment. We might think about those people who are in leadership in our country and across the world who have to make difficult decisions. We might give thanks for those who lead the church, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Bishop Tim, Bishop Debbie, for Peter, the Archdeacon, and for all those people here at St John's who work really hard and those who've been engaging in the communications, who've been helping us to be able to do this kind of live streaming and who have also enabled us to be able to write to each other and share information with each other. We thank you for the gifts and the skills that people have been using in a different place who are now bringing them into our church life. So let us pray for those who may be born today and bless them in Jesus' name. Let the joy of God shine from your face and the joy of all who see you and the shield of God surround your head and the angels ever guard you. May, may every season be good for you and the Son of Mary give peace to you. Let us pray for those who must work today and bless them in Jesus' name. Thinking especially of people who work in the NHS and for all those who care for, for people, for those who provide all the essential services. God bless to you today the earth beneath your feet, the path on which you tread, the work of hands and mind, the things which you desire. And, and when, when the day, day is over, over God, God bless to you your, your rest. rest. Let's pray for those who must travel today and bless them in Jesus' name. <coughs> and so I think about um, David Watson, who works on for a haulage company. Whenever I think of David, I think about those people who bring all of the goods into the shops that we need. I think about John Attenborough and the mission to seamen and for all the container ships 
and the other forms of transport that still have to bring in goods, still have to travel across the world and still have to bring uh, essential things for us. As an island nation that's just so important. May the keeping of Christ be round you. May the guarding of God be with you, to possess you, to protect you from dangers and from loss. And may, may the gospel, gospel of, of the God, God of grace bless you from head, head to song. And may the gospel of the King of heaven be wrapped around your body. So we pray for all those who are sick today. Pray that God would give them his peace. Pray especially for Doreen and Pearl, for Alice and Darren, and for any others known to us. And let us pray for those who may face death today and bless them in Jesus' name. And we pray for the faithful departed, remembering especially Patricia Tanti at this moment. May God provide for you all that is needed for mind, body and soul as you face the final journey. May Christ, Christ take, take your, your soul in his arms and bring you through the balancing time to the dwelling place of peace and make it your home forever. And let us pray for ourselves. Enable us, great God, to pass this day as past the saints in heaven to keep this day as keep the people of heaven, to spend this day as spend the household of heaven, and love this day which you have perfected. Amen. So gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. We use the traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of God, the peace of God's people, the peace of Mary Mild, the loving one, and the Christ, King of human hearts, God's own peace. Be, be upon each thing our eyes take in, be upon each thing our ears take in, be upon our bodies which come from earth, be upon our souls which come from heaven, evermore and evermore. Amen. Well, I'd like to say thank you yeah, for thank doing you. that. Yeah, it's, uh, that that's, it's been quite good fun, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of yeah. uh, it's very different, but uh, I think uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens to church once uh, all this is all this is over. We may be doing more live streaming, I guess, from from the building or something. Uh, we don't look keen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not my preferred. I like I like being face to face with people. <laughs> face to face with me but yeah i know it's amazing to think that that there, there's a group of people who are watching yeah. in their homes and, and things it's, I, it's lovely to connect with with you as you as yeah. you've joined and we've seen your names come up and people from um you know all over the place really but up in norwich and up in scotland yeah and over in locks heath yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, yep yeah. and this is this is only part of it isn't it because it it, it gets put on 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 the Facebook page and it goes on the web page and then you see I think that, that last week's service reached like something like two hundred and eighty people or something like that. It was a ridiculous number of people who who who, who, who want to see. But uh, we, we we greet all of you and say thank you to you as well if you're watching this afterwards. Um and it's just you know, it's it's just it's just a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to do. Um 
Yeah, it's it's quite nerve wracking, isn't it? Because you think, gosh, it's yeah. Yeah. Um, notices this week. Well, I don't know. Keep 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 an eye on the uh, on the, uh, the the internet page, uh, the web page, and keep an eye on on Facebook as well. Um, I kind of tentatively booked a slot on Zoom at eleven. Um, if you'd like to join us uh, around then, then please do. Um, please do leave us some feedback if you would like to, because it's uh, we're, we're 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 all new to this. Well, we're we're all new to this, so uh, we're we're happy to kind of think about things. I'm very conscious of one of the things is, is I don't look at the camera. Someone told me that I should look at the camera rather than so look at you. Um, but it's it's quite, it's quite difficult, isn't it? Got, yeah. Yeah, it's new. It's, it's new. It's, new. It's, it's, it's new. Yeah. It's new. Yeah. And in case you're wondering, this is this is this is my study in the vicarage, so you can you can kind of see this little ghostly figure behind Karen is is my my elf, which I brought over. So it's uh, uh, it's all all new. Well, the other um, one thing is that um, on mm. the Church of England website, there there are a lot of really good resources. There's um, lots of prayers and. And things that you can use so do do have a look yeah. at that there's lots of um resources going online and there's some local stuff isn't there is it uh, i can't remember what it is is it the berry there's lots of stuff oh, coming the out just sending out a, a great little email with exercises and um craft yeah things to to do yeah there's a lot of um there's a lot of lo- lovely creativity and um generosity and and goodness mm. um showing at this at this point, yeah. yeah. So there's also, we're doing a lot of telephone calls as well, people are phoning around, um, and please, you know, please do get in touch. Don't don't necessarily wait for us to phone you. You can you can, you can can phone us as well, that would be nice, or email and uh, stay in contact. So it's lovely, lovely to have been with you this morning, and um, thank you for having joined us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love now and always. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be be to to God. God. You take care, stay well and stay safe.